Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Slutty Perfume Reviews. So today I am very happy to be reviewing the third fragrance by Jennifer Aniston and that is Near Dusk. So this fragrance is brand spanking new, was just announced on Monday I believe and um, I'm here reviewing it for you guys. Now I, was, I actually went into Kohl's Thursday night, today is Saturday when I'm filming this. Um, Went into Kohl's Thursday night to, uh, just to kind of poke around and saw it there and wanted to wait till Friday when I got paid and when um, I could get it. And sorry, they're just, we're just brain farting today. Anyway, so went in there and I smelled it and I saw it and I like freaked out because I had it and it wasn't even on the website yet and it just got announced and I was like, holy crap, here we go. And I have a, like a good tendency with Jennifer Aniston perfumes like that because last year when Jay was released that was kind of the same aspect. So it's actually really funny because today is the 11th and it was actually July 8th of last year that I uploaded my Jay by Jennifer Aniston perfume review. So it's been a almost, ex it's been exactly a year, a little over more, a little more over. Um, but so the one thing that I, I mean, when I get farther into this, there's something amazing about this fragrance. So, we'll first start off with the box. And so the box this time is a little bit different than the previous boxes. I mean, it's it's similar. But it says Jennifer Aniston, or Near Dust Jennifer Aniston. And it's got her kind of like, sexily crawling out of the ocean or whatever she's doing. Kind of like a mermaid. It would have been nice to kind of see it like, uh, continue on to the sides of the box maybe. Anyway, so you got Jennifer Aniston Near Dusk on the front. And um, it says Eau de Parfum Vaporizer Spray, 2.9 fluid ounces, uh, 85 milliliters. The only thing difference between this one and the previous ones were with the J box, it kind of followed that same design as her previous one, where you had the strip of her ad and then you had that like the ad on this side. This time the ad is the entire front of the box, and then when you flip to the back, it says Near Dust Jennifer Aniston and has a picture of the bottle when this time it was like the same thing. So, we got rid of that little like excess on the side and we just kind of decided to do a full ad on the front and back. Um, I will say straight off the bat that I feel like I remember in my last video for, or my video when I did Jay, I said that I felt that uh, Jay and Jennifer Aniston are completely different from each other and that they were like, you couldn't even like compare them. I mean, they're both kind of that C scent, but it was a lot different from the original. I personally feel like this one is a true flanker of um, Jay because it's it's more similar to Jay than it is to Jennifer Aniston, but this is her third fragrance. So the bottle this time is is a beautiful purple color, and I cannot get over how beautiful purple this is. Um, so beautiful, beautiful purple picture color, and I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the last video where I put this up to the box so you guys can actually see like the true color. So look how beautiful this is. So, side by side, we'll put these two bottles side by side. They're they're definitely more true um, flankers of each other because they're more similar to each other than the other ones were. So, this one. Its top notes are pink pepper, sea spray to cord, and coconut water. Middle notes are jasmine, peony, and orange blossom with base notes of blonde woods, vanilla, musk, and white amber. So the one thing I will say off the bat, I forgot to grab a tester, that's not what I was going to say, but um, the one thing I will say off the bat is the one thing that ties all three Jennifer Aniston perfumes together is that sea spray to cord and the top notes. Um, and if you guys wonder why I'm looking over here, I have a little screen over here that I decided to put the notes on instead of having it on my phone and looking down. So um, the one thing I will also say about this fragrance is when I went in Thursday night to spray like to see if they had this fragrance and it was kind of just sheer luck and night they did um I sprayed it on my wrist it was about 9 15 at night ish 8 30 9 o'clock yeah we'll say about that time sprayed down my wrist went home I had to work at 9 30 the next morning and I woke up 9 30 the next morning and I could literally still smell the base notes of it on my wrist that was 12 hours later and I could still smell it Throughout the day at work, as I was helping people, I would sit there and like sniff my wrist, and I could still smell it. 
I, I stopped kind of smelling it around 1 or 2 in the afternoon. So it got a good, like, 18 hours of longevity. I mean, it got a good longevity. I'm not perfect on hours right there. But this is, like, the longest lasting perfume. This completely surpasses Rise. I mean, Rise lasted so long, in my opinion. But definitely amazing lasting power on this one. So beautiful, beautiful purple bottle. And let's just hop right into the notes. So when you first spray it, I get that pink pepper. I don't really get a whole lot of coconut water. And I think that's just there to add a little more tropicalness to the fragrance. But I'm really not getting a whole lot of coconut water. I am getting more Sea Spray Accord this time around than I did in J. But it's kind of mixing well with that pink pepper in the beginning to add a little bit of a spiciness but it's still kind of creamy because similar to Jay but not exactly that vanilla is a is a standout note in this time but it you can smell it more from the top than you could with Jay as you get into the heart peony and orange blossom bam right out there I can smell both of them perfectly and the jasmine's there just to kind of play the backup role let everybody know it's there it's kind of just chilling out in the sand while you got the peony and the orange blossom kind of floating around in the water next to you if that if that gives you a little kind of gist of where I'm going with this. The base notes blonde woods, vanilla, musk, and white amber. Amber and the uh, blonde woods add this kind of warmth and woodiness to the fragrance. The amber, I'm not, I get the amber, but I'm not picking it up as much as say in J Lux, but it's definitely very amber-esque. Um, blonde woods add that soft woodiness to the fragrance with the warm with the amber adding the warmth. Definitely can smell the vanilla. This time I feel like this is a floral vanilla. Last time I said that Jay was a more bourbon vanilla. This is a more floral vanilla. It's a very nighttime, very sexy, very elegant. Um, I know when she kind of did a little bit of a press release with this, she said that she wanted this time to it to be more. Um, nighttime and seductive and sexy and she, when she talked about she was when she would grow up um, she grew up in New York City and that all her life she lived in the city and she looked forward to going to visit her family because her family lived out on the beach and she would get to smell these flowers and get to smell stuff that wasn't normal for her to smell and she remembered sitting at the beach at sunset and she kind of wanted to capture that that romantic quality that sitting on a beach at sunset is and I definitely feel like she captured it. It is a perfect sunset scent. I get that kind of idea of the sunset that she's going with it because it's got that warmth of the hot summer day but it's kind of cooling down and I get that with the blonde woods and the, the musk is kind of peeking in there but definitely that vanilla is kind of playing in. I almost feel like this is the nighttime version of Jay. Um, this is almost, if you were to wear J, you spent the day at the beach. Well, here. This is how we'll do it. So, Jennifer Aniston is your at the beach. The original Jennifer Aniston, which is this one. So, the original Jennifer Aniston is you just spent the day at the beach. You're at the beach. You're having fun. You're playing in the water. You're having fun with your family. You're enjoying yourself. This is, um, Jennifer Aniston. Um, J is... You got you just spent the day at the beach, you're gonna go inside, you're gonna eat dinner maybe, maybe eat lunch, kind of relax for a little bit, and then you and your special someone decide to go out to the beach and spend the night with your toes in the water and just kind of relaxing and it's kind of sexy and romantic and elegant and the sun's just setting and the tide's starting to come in a little bit more and you're getting flowers kind of, uh, for some reason there's flowers out in the ocean and they're coming up on you and you're special someone while you guys are relaxing on the beach and you pick one up and you smell it and it's this exotic flower that no one's ever heard of before but it's got this kind of floral sexy vanilla scent to it and you rub it all over I'm not, I'm just done. We're not going to go there. But. Anywho, so that's definitely kind of the sexy nighttime version of any of her perfumes. When I found out that they were doing one called Near Dusk, um, when I first heard the name, immediately I thought of 
it being like a yellow to orange bottle, but I love the fact that this is a purple bottle. When I saw the picture and saw the bottle, fell in love with it. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing, amazing scent. Um, definitely feel like ever since she went over to Elizabeth Arden that she's hitting it out of the park and really kind of pumping them out there and getting the good fragrances. I can't wait to see what she does next. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on Perfume. The links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.